baby, do it, baby, do it, do it, do it, baby, do it, yeah, yeah. Now do it, baby, do it, baby, do it, do it, do it, baby, do it, yeah, yeah. Shorty playing, she lame for that. She ain't have to put a nigga name in that. Beefing over these bitches, not me, nah, nigga, I ain't came for that. Hi you guys, welcome to my full face routine with bacon. Today I'm going to show you basically what I do and the steps I take to get a nice, um, flawless, full face. So you always want to start off with creaming and prepping your face with primer. Then I'm going in with a Tarte Full Coverage Amazonian Clay Foundation. I'm taking a soft kabuki brush um, and it's kind of just a round top. It's not a dome, it's just a regular round um, top brush. And I'm going in and I'm really buffing this into my skin so it looks nice and airbrushed. Then I'm taking a really creamy concealer by Benefit and I am just warming it with my fingers and applying it under my eye. Um, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to follow it with a liquid concealer but I'm just buffing it into the skin so we don't get a little cakey. And then I'm going to take my... I believe it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 and I'm going to go ahead and do under my eyes and then I'm going to do the bridge of my nose that's going to help um, give us a slimmer nose then I'm doing the top of my forehead and then my chin and then after that I'm taking the same kind of brush but it's in a dome shape and I'm really blending this in and I'm making sure that the product is really nicely um, covered and blended into my skin so that way we don't have any harsh lines and it's not too cakey looking. And then I'm going to go ahead with the baking process. I'm taking my Makeup Forever HD Translucent or Loose Powder and I'm taking a sponge. Um, it is in the shape of a beauty blender but it's a sponge material so that way it doesn't absorb any of the product. And I'm just patting um, very, you know, loosely I'm patting this product. Um, you don't have to worry about blending it in because you're going to give it a couple minutes then you're going to go ahead and brush it off. And this is going to help set your concealer and not give you a cakey face. It's really good long wear. Then I'm taking um, a matte bronzer that's a couple shades darker than me. I'm taking an angled brush and I'm going to go ahead into the hollows of my cheek. Then I'm going to extend it up to my forehead um, to kind of slim it down. Then I'm doing the jawline. And then I'm going to do the sides of my nose, but I'm taking just a smaller version of that same angled brush. I'm going to do the smaller, um, the small of your nose as well, like the tip, and then the sides of your nose. And you want to make sure that you're blending that really well. I'm going to blend it a little bit later with my foundation brush, but I'm going to um, add a little highlighter first. This is just um, a shimmery powder. I'm just going to go lightly on the nose, a little bit on the really tops of the cheek. And then I'm taking my foundation brush from earlier and really nicely blending out the harsh lines. Then I'm taking my warm, um, it's called Eternal Sun by MAC. It's a really nice warm blush that I actually use all year round. It just works really well with my skin color. Then I am going to take um, just a mineralized uh, powder with a little bit of a shimmer and I'm going over where I uh, bronzed earlier and um, I'm sorry where I contoured earlier and this is really going to help bronze it. Um, this is just what's worked for my face. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Everything will be in the description box below. Have a great one you guys. Bye. If you guys are interested to see some behind the scenes and bloopers, this video took forever to make and it took a long time to condense it. So I hope you guys enjoy. We can skip the song because I know it's not the song.